Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Vic. In today's video, we're going to continue to talk about Inkscape. Now, one of the things that's very important in Inkscape that is often overlooked is your document page size. So we can go to our document properties over here on the right hand toolbox, or you can also go to file document properties, or if you'd like to use the keyboard control shift D will get you to this dialog box. Now at a default, it will give you the A4 size, which is which might be a little bit different depending on your region. It might default to the US letter. Since I'm in Australia, this is defaulted to an A4. Now one of the things that I really like to do is to make sure that you check your background to a checkerboard background so that if you are, end up drawing anything that is colored white, it's not going to disappear into the background. So as you can see here, we've just got a white square. And if say I uncheck this, that white square can easily disappear once I am no longer selecting it. So it could be a little bit difficult to find where that white square is. So if you just enable the checkerboard background, it just helps you to see where all the transparent parts of your canvas is. Now, why is setting the page important. Setting the page is very important because it allows you to set the size of the intended image that you want to export. So if there's any image that you want to work on, like a cover page or a video thumbnail, it really helps to look up those dimensions. For example, you can Google any of the sizes of images that you would like. So let's say you want to post something for Instagram. You can go ahead and search for it. I'll link this website in the description, but really if you do a quick search, you could find multiple resources for standard dimensions. So for example, an Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. We'll switch back to our Inkscape over here. So let's say I'm going to make an Instagram post. I can go ahead and change this to pixels and make sure that my width is going to be set by 1080 by 1080. So this is now the canvas that I'll be working on. So when I export this out as a final image, it'll be at the right dimensions. Another example could be a YouTube cover thumbnail. So let's go ahead and search for that together. So let me search for YouTube thumbnail dimensions. So let's click on the first result here and I'll link this in the description below. And as you can see here, so YouTube thumbnail size is recommended to be 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. When we go back to Inkscape over here, if we want to do a YouTube thumbnail cover, we'll do 1280 by 720. As you can see, it sets the page size for our YouTube cover. That's it for today. Just a really quick tidbit. Stay up to date on this channel because I'll be showing you how to create these thumbnails, how to create these Instagram posts using Inkscape.